welcome to our countertop demo in May. Um, we're here at Phoenix showing all things electric. So um, today our first um, piece of equipment is going to be the Adventist Walk. So this is a 3000 um, watt piece of equipment. You've got 314 stainless steel. Um, the actual ceramic of the wok glass, the um, induction coils come right to the edge. So when you're heating, that heat comes right to the edges. So you're not losing partial heat, it comes right up to the edge. So I'll be showing that as we're cooking. Um, we've got an on-off button. Um, you can either go up in uh, temperature or you can go up in levels. So I'm going to go up to about 15. We don't want to go too hot with wok induction because it is very powerful. So the key is always never turn your back on induction. So. What level does it go up to, Marco? It goes up to 20. I think so. Actually, sorry, 25, but we won't do that. It's too hot. <laughs> All right, so today we're doing a beautiful beef um, stir fry. Um, so I've marinated beef in a concoction of lime juice and ginger and garlic, um, dark soy sauce, kepis manis. Uh, what else have I got? Some chili flakes. I put a few too many, so I threw a few out. Um, black um, ground pepper, some salt, and so that I marinated that overnight. You can see it's already it's already. Smoking. So that literally took about 20 seconds. Can you see that? Yeah. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is put in my onions, my mushrooms. Give them a stir. It was funny because I was um, practicing this at home on my, I shouldn't say, the opposite of electric and it was driving me nuts. It was taking so long and I was salivating the day when I was going to come and, <laughs> and do this yeah. with the wok. Because it, I mean, th this, this dinner, lunch, takes eight minutes. So imagine that at home or in your workplace, you're quickly whipping up in your corporate office just, it's just lovely. So, and, and often with your um, domestic environment or your very substantial standard um, commercial equipment, you're only getting the heat, as I said, just up to partial levels. Whereas you feel the heat, if I tap it, it's actually really hot. So also the trick always with electric woks, and people are finding that hard to get used to, is you, do, you don't need to move the wok, you just move the food. So I'm just gonna push that aside and let that heat cook it just a little bit longer. That's done. So I'll just pour it into the side. So this is the, this one is the octopus, which is an induction barbecue, which we're going to be talking about in a second. There we are, so that's our first thing. Let that heat up a bit more, get a bit more oil in it. You're feeling inspired for dinner, what you're going to cook tonight? <laughs> so as I said, I've uh, marinated some lovely beef in that marinade that I talked about. All right, and the good thing about um, the wok is you've also got a program. You've got three programs that you can set, so pre-lock pre it in, and also you've got a timer. So you can preset your timer, preset your program, so you get the same, um, the same result each time you cook. Because it's such a lovely thin beef, I'm, don't need to really do much more. I'm just going to put that over 
and I can start to cook all my veggies. You could be using water if you're a little bit on the conscious side, the health conscious side. Some beautiful colours. We put in some red capsicum. We've got corn. I've cut it in half because I think it's too much of a mouthful to be doing a whole corn. Um, I've got some lovely Chinese herbs in there. I'm just going to give them a bit of a toss. May as well throw the rest of it in. I've got some um, broccolini for good price at the supermarket at the moment. Um, green beans and some more. Some more Chinese veg. I love Chinese veg. So good for you. Just added some um, shallots. I can smell it's getting a little bit dry, so I'm going to add a little bit of water into it. That also helps with the cooking. I don't think the fan's on. Is it going up? I've just turned it up a little bit to give it a good, good boost. So, so not much longer. Now over here, I'm going to turn it right up. So we're showing, showcasing our specialised pastry um, induction countertop. So this is a GLN 2300 watt um, apparatus and chefs talk about the precision of the temperature, they love it. We actually use this at the show and other customers have used it. So you can set it right onto 36, put chocolate in there and you don't have to stir it all day. It just stays at the exact temperature and um, the heat of the induction is only just going into the actual pot so all around you can actually put your hands so it's much safer and so much easier to clean. So with this one, you can either set the actual temperature or you can set the power level. So I'm just boiling up some, some pasta to go with the actual dish. All right, so we're pretty good. Just adding back in my mushrooms, my um, beef. I'm waiting for my pasta to cook, and then I can stir that, and voila, we have a meal. Put that right down. Okay, so we might go over to the octopus next. So, the octopus is from Aventus also, and it's called an octopus because it, octopuses have eight arms, the same as this in, induction. So you can see from the arms here on the sides, you can either put a stainless steel on there to lean your prep on, or you can be putting marinated items or you don't actually need to use it, you can just push in your items. So that's four arms, where's the rest of it coming from? So we've got induction hot plates here, on two induction hot plates. We've got what is called a grill, so that's um, char grill, I'll show you that. And then you can um, be steaming things. So we're actually going to steam some um, salmon afterwards. Then you can just have a nice smooth plate, a griddle. And you see the actual, the ends, it fits really snugly in. 
and they can be locked in together. But then you might decide, oh my goodness, I've forgotten something. I've forgotten to chop something. So you get out your customised designed chopping board and put that on. So, yeah. So it's got different levels. You can either um, have, um, again, temperature controlled. You can have power level control. You can have um, grilling. You can have a plancher going. So I'm going to turn them both on and I'm going to get our salmon on here cooking and then I'm going to put, um, put you over to Jen to talk about how we're going to complement the dishes. So this is the Fresh Moo Chef. It's made in Switzerland, 30 years of engineering behind them. It's a frozen food processor, has a number of different programs on it and a number of different settings. It's very user friendly. So we have a frozen setting, uh, a fresh setting if we wanted to use a sharp blade so we could um, go through the cup that will go in here with herbs, spices, things such as that. So we can chop it within two and a half minutes, a full cup. We also have a whipping disc if we wanted to whip cream. It would whip from 800 mils to a litre. It would hold its whip um, and stay in the fridge as a whipped cream for up to three days. We also have a recipe book where we store all the recipes. So when we're doing uh, our menu changes, seasonal changes, we can save up to five recipes in here and then when you change your menu again, we just delete those out of the memory and reprogram. And we've also got a cleaning system at the end. So as you can see, everything is easy touch. Here we can select how many portions we would like to create how many repetitions we would like to do throughout the cup and, and that will be through menu trial. So you will trial your recipes, you'll work out that you might need over intensity, some intensity to put more air in to change the product. So you can have something that's denser on a plate or lighter on a plate, fluffier. We can add air, we can take air, or air away. So once again, it makes your product unique to you. The, one of the uniquenesses about this machine is that you come up with your own recipes. It's your own purple cow, it's your uniqueness. And no one else will have a recipe like you. You know exactly what's going into the cup. So you know you can cater for vegan, um, for lactose free, as I am, and, and things such as that. So you, know, you can have a number of different flavors on your menu and you'll be able to cater for all needs. So we're going to go ahead and do some pesto to complement the salmon. This is the pesto that's in the, we've just frozen everything. So literally in there is pine nuts, parmesan, oil, basil, bit of garlic, and we're just going to blitz it. So the blade connects on and twists into place, connecting to the right. Cup goes in and we're literally going to process the whole cup. Now I think we're going to do we're going to do the whole cup, but I think we'll do um, three repetitions because we know we want it chopping finely. And I'm going to do a little bit of over pressure because that actually seems to help with the consistency as well. So we're going to give that a go. So when we start off, we can see the arrow coming down. Once it hits the product, we'll hear a change in the noise. There we go. And it's now showing us how long it's going to take to process everything that's in the cup. We do have an air release button here. And let's say, for example, we think, oh my gosh, you didn't want that much. We would literally just press the stop button, everything would rewind, and we would reset. So it's extremely hard. And there's oil actually added into it as well, which is why it's so hard in the middle. It's normally quiet in this on ice cream and sorbet and I'm sure there will be a changing noise the next couple that we do. So this is just going to do its thing and we're just going to stand here and watch it. So it will actually rewind itself. This one has two motors in place. Previous models didn't have the two motors so if the blade fell off, didn't detect it, it would actually be damaged. But because it's detected it's fallen off, the second motor will rewind it manually. There we go. 
it tells you. Yeah, it's very fat, sure. And so the other thing as well is, if that does happen, sometimes it's quite difficult to get the cup out, but it's actually got a releasable base so that the cup can drop, so it will allow that to happen. Whereas once again, previously, it would be stuck in the machine and you'd have to send it away to a repair technician with all the products still stuck on the side. So that's, that's what it looks like at the moment. And that's pretty good. All right, so jumping over to the octopus. So um, that took about five minutes to heat up the, um, the barbecue. So in one side, I'm doing a more of a, a steamed salmon. And then on the right side, I'm doing the, the barbecue style. And then I've um, just cooked my um, pasta, my Chinese pasta. So it's looking pretty good, isn't it? It looks delicious. So we'll give it a little bit of garnish. I'll put that into the warmer, the induct stone warmer, just over here. So I've preheated this, the induct stone to 15, 16, so it's about 83 degrees it's going to be holding in. This is going so well in aged care. So this is an underbench um, heating counter. So it's only 650 watts, so wait a second, I'll just, I'll just put the actual food in and then we can talk about it. Okay, so Induct Stone is all about having a bench which is all lovely and clear and then having it also operating as a buffet. So the actual induction element is underneath this bench. So it's um, built, the induction is built on a frame, the induction comes up and it touches and connects with the bench and then there's a silicon star that you put just to give a bit of a, a buffer for the actual bench. And then the induction chafing dish, well, the chafing dish that is induction matching, sits there. So that's all warming up. So then you would serve your clients or the, um, the residents would serve themselves. It would be finished. And then you take, you remove the bench and voila, you've got a beautiful clean surface that you can then use for doing your coffee um, tables, you can do craft stations, you could um, just be having free with a lovely bunch of flowers. So it looks, it's commercial, but it's not commercial. So. All right, so you've done your pesto. Yep. So. I've just turned the chicken, so it's got a lovely, lovely browning on it, nice and crisp. The fish is nice and happy here, steaming away. So we're keeping that nice retention. We're still getting a little bit of a barbecue feel and taste about it, but then we're also being able to do a much more delicate item in one side with our hood, but then we can be doing more of our robust meats on the side and open. So it's really diverse, it's, it's really fabulous. There's lots of fun to be had with this. All right, don't get my cutlery mixed up. All right, okay, so uh, talk amongst yourselves and I'm gonna set up the plancher piping hot and it takes about a couple of minutes to heat up. So we've got this at um, Crown Plaza in Coogee and they've actually got a Mexican bar. So it's open to the public so you can, people can come off the street and just come up to the bar um, and they do little burgers, they're doing tacos. Um, so it's, yeah, it's a really fun little experiment. We're doing, we're getting a lot of these into, um, you know, Michelin star, all electric kitchens where Perhaps they can't afford the cost of higher equipment, so they go through the Aventus. 
and it's a good solution. It's still a nice, it's 350 centimetres wide, so it's small enough but also big enough to be able to fit. So what we're going to do here, we're going to do some halloumi and um, peaches and then we're going to complement it with Fresh's product. Alright, okay. so I've cooked um, chicken on the barbecue. I've simply marinated in some corn flour, some olive oil and some garlic. Um, that really marinates it, so if ever you're wondering why your chicken isn't, is a bit tough, then try that experiment. Um, and then we've decided to complement it with a nice coconut sauce. So over to Jen to yep. describe. So we've got um, coconut cream or coconut milk, um, ketchup, um, ketchup manis, some soy and a few other interesting ingredients. I'm just going to blitz the whole thing. I'm not going to add any pressure to it this time because it's going to be like a sauce when it comes out. So we're just going to go for the whole thing. So once again, it's been frozen to minus 18, minus 20, which is the optimum. So we'll have a bit of noise once it hits the product again, which is quite normal. So it's like hitting a brick wall. The machine, the blade obviously is spinning at 2000 revolutions per minute, and it will take it down to less than one micron. So we're not expecting to have any texture. It should just be nice and smooth. And it should complement the chicken look like. So I'm actually going to use the octopus. So why not to show you just the diversity of the product. So you're outside, you're inside, you're changing around. Yep. I'm going to heat this up. So you can be doing everything with an induction um, octopus from Aventis. You can be melting something, you can be stir frying something, you can be grilling something, you can be poaching something, you can be chopping something. I think it could do with a little bit more seasoning as well. A little bit more seasoning? Yeah. Okay. I didn't want to put any salt and pepper in it because I wasn't sure just how much salt we were going to get out of the soy and the, yeah. and the, and the manis. So I've just pulled it off for a moment because it's quite hot and it's a very delicate coconut cream. We don't want to curdle it. Yeah. So just giving it a moment to adjust and putting it back on. As I said, induction's hot. And this unit, this um, octopus is only 15 amp. So if you've got power problems, um, that's a great solution and it's all portable. So at the end of um, when you're working, you just put it all together, you put all your elements underneath in the lovely shelf here and then you pack it away. There we are. And then the last but not least is a halloumi with um, peaches. So we want to cater for everybody, whether you're vegetarian, whether you're vegan, whether you're gluten-free, whether you've got allergies, there's something for everybody to eat. Just need to be a little creative. Adding some lovely halloumi. And then Jen is going to complement the dishes from Aventus with some lovely magic sauces. All right, so while I'm busy cooking away on the plancher that goes up to 250 degrees, that's 3,000 watt, 15 amp, can be on a countertop or dropping into a unit. Nice diversity, very good price point. Um, two years warranty, but I can tell you now that it lasts way longer than that. We'll hand over to Jen to talk about how she's going to um, work with the dish. Okay, so we've just got some peaches. We want the, um, some water with a little bit of honey, just to try and give it a little bit of sweetness, but we didn't want to go too sweet. So we're trying to make a granita, so we want it to be like an icy texture. If we have too much sugar in here, it's probably going to come out as an ice cream, so it's going to be either one or the other. The good thing as well about anything that's frozen is 
Anything that we don't use today, we can literally flatten straight back down, it goes back into the freezer so there's no waste. So this is the MKM Optima 850 char grill, electric char grill. It's a wonderful invention. It's been around actually for years with MKM. Um, and it does taste like char grill. You actually have to taste it to see it, but you'll see it at the end. The wonderful unique thing about it is it has an automatic uh, water filling um, episode. So you can see over here, there's a little water filler here. So when I turn it on, the water will fill into the bath to a certain level and it will not start heating until then. And then when the water drops to a certain level, it will fill again. So that's fantastic for when we're trying to clean, um, when it keeps that lovely moisture. So you've got all this moisture coming from underneath your meat and your food, and then you've got your char grilling on top. The other benefit and feature of this is the cast iron plates which are all, they have all of the coils that are embedded into the char grill. So there are three elements that you take off. So you get this really nice even heating from the top to the bottom. Nice and easy to clean. And then you actually have a lifter here for when you want to get in underneath into the water bath. So it's a stand, it's just like a, a boot of a car, sorry, a, a bonnet of a car just stands up. And when you want to release it, you just, there's a little bar at the bottom, it comes down. So I'll put those back on and then we'll turn it on. Now the other thing that is with this char grill, so you can have a char grill just as is, but we've also got this clam char. So there are two elements that go up to 300 degrees. And the whole benefit of this is you can either char grill both sides of your meat and then put down the actual clam and it just speeds up your whole cooking. So if I'm to turn it on, you'll hear the water starting to fill up. I'm going to turn it right up. It goes up to 380 degrees in about 11 minutes. Yes? Clam, char, whatever. Yep. No, it has to come at the time. Yes. And this is 800, the width of it. No, it's not. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, and the water can be decanted at the bottom. There's just a, a funnel here. So we're going to do just some classic porterhouse beef. Um, I've just marinated some chicken. And I've also got some sexy chart, um, coriander ginger chicken, just, which is thigh. And then we have breast. Just a few so I've set it on about 150, and we'll give it just a couple of minutes. And that will just speed up the whole process and making sure that it's cooked right through. So I know we can't, the camera can't smell, but I can smell. I can see just the char grill in it, the taste in it. So exactly like a gas barbecue, but faster, cleaner, and it's all electric.